www.rochellearthurs.com All well and creating great music. So welcome to my very quick Logic Pro X tutorial. I just wanted to show you guys um, a couple of things in regards to Logic 10.7. First of all, just to show beginners how to check whether they've got the latest Logic um, software downloaded on their device. So I'm going to show you how you can do what you can do to check that. Then second of all, I'm going to show you how to make sure that you've downloaded all the latest sounds uh, from the Logic Sound Library to your Logic Pro X software on your device. So they're the two key things I'm going to show you. Logic 10.7, there's an array of new sounds. So I think it's essential for all you musicians, singers, songwriters, to have a listen to everything that's now included to te in, in 10.7. So I'm just gonna take you over to the um, Apple website, which actually shows you there. So bear with me one moment. So as you can see here, there's various plugins in 10.7 now, instruments, spatial audio, which I'm going to do a tutorial on, so look out for that. All the new instruments and different uh, visualizations of this, quick sampler, etc. But just getting down to the nitty gritty, if I go downwards, the, the drum kit, designer, etc., which some of you are probably familiar with, but there's some also great uh, new sounds now in Logic, which I'm gonna just go straight down to the effects. Um, section as you can see but most importantly the new sound libraries that have got amazing music within this um, is fantastic so uh, make sure you download all the new producer packs and this is what I wanted to focus on so I give you an example track girl So there you have it. I just wanted to show you very quickly um, the amazing new sounds that have come from, you know, the biggest producers in the world. Um, so you can enhance these sounds, you can manipulate them, you can make them sound just as major, amazing as you like. So now let's go over to uh, Logic Pro X. So as I mentioned, the first thing you want to do to check whether you've got the latest software, you just click on Logic Pro at the top and then you select about Logic Pro and that will show you what the latest software is that you have on your device. Now if you've got anything lower than that then you'll need to go to your software updates and download the latest Logic Pro X. Okay. Second of all, as I mentioned before, I just wanted to show you um, how you can check whether all the latest sounds have been installed. So just go to Logic Pro and if you go to the sound library you'll notice there's various different options download all available sounds reinstall sound library open sound library manager and relocate the sound library so the relocate your sound library um, that's if you wanted to uh, relocate your sounds to a different device maybe an external hard drive etc and obviously that would then save space on your device and then the other thing um, i would suggest everyone do is just go to your uh, sorry your sound library because from here you can see what has been installed and what hasn't. So if I go up here, you can see there's a few that's incomplete. So maybe I stopped the installation halfway through or the battery might have died when I was, I was installing and I didn't, wasn't aware. So it's always good to have a look here just to see what has been installed and what hasn't. But what you can do for easy option is go to select all uninstalled and then uh, Logic will just highlight all these that haven't been installed yet. Okay, and then you can install them all by just selecting install. Now, when you do press install, you'll often get this um, prompt to connect to a power source. So obviously make sure you do that. And that's just to make sure that your computer doesn't uh, switch off while you're um, downloading all the latest sounds. So um, that's another thing to just consider. So that's how easy it is just to double check 
and whether you have all these sounds and how to download all the relevant sounds. I would definitely suggest that you guys download um, all the latest sounds just so you have the option of exploring new sounds and also enhancing your music. So that's a very quick tutorial just to show you how easy it is to do this. But if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Um, also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. And also please subscribe to my website where you'll find um, exclusive updates and more blogs in relation to music production as well as music equipment advice. Okay, so I hope you find that helpful. If you have any questions, Again, please do not hesitate to leave a comment. Thank you so much and have a lovely day, everyone. www.rochellearthers.com